All right. Third time's the charm. Hello, and welcome to the freaking 14th episode of our Glacier Ridge campaign. Sorry, my internet's been causing some problems, and I've tried doing this three times now. Okay. Third time's the charm. That's what I said. Um, all right, so let's try and get through this quickly. Uh, this is a Monster of the Week campaign. A Monster of the Week is a, another TTRPG similar to Dungeons and Dragons, but it's based on your favorite Monster of the Week TV series. Monster of the Week TV series would be considered things like Supernatural, X Files, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, Doctor Who would be considered one, technically, Scooby Doo would be considered one. Any show where every episode they're dealing with a different monster. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, now, let's just go over our recap so I can try and get this out of the way so the players can actually start playing the game and not just me talk. Oh, um, sorry. Music stopped for a second. Let's get that back going. Excellent. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so, uh, last episode, episode 13, um, wasn't last week, but this is what happened. Um, so the party was planning out a trap for Elias for the first 17 minutes-ish. Um, they were talking about what they're going to do. Right now, the plan is to get him caught in a heated area uh, with some of the books and notes and stuff that they had stolen from his I say stolen party says otherwise um but yeah stolen from wherever his his burnt down well no it wasn't burnt down at the time um but his cabin then um they decided to talk about what they were going to do with the altar um, it ended up getting decided that, um, Charlie would contact his previous employer and get him to, uh, bring it, get them to take it, basically. Um, they ended up also canceling the doctor, Helena Sinclair, coming to the area. Um, because they were like, we don't want her to get infected by the altar. Um, then Frankie split off from the party uh, to quote unquote go over Elias's notes. Really, what they were doing is investigating the map that they quote unquote lost. Um, while they were investigating the map, they... it. I lost it in my pocket. Yes, exactly. Uh, while they were going over the map, um, they came across some like symbols and stuff, but they couldn't really make it out. It wasn't really based on the current maps, as there's more trails and things now, and this is an older map, so on and so forth. Uh, Charlie then contacted his former employer to let them know what was going on. Um, I'm not sure if anybody actually listened to the episode, but they didn't get to hear that. Um, so that is something that not all of them know. Uh, then Victor and Maxine went to the bar, and Frankie went to the hunting lodge, almost got in a fight with some hunters who were all like, Hoorah, we're going to kill the monster. Or kill this animal, sorry, not the monster. Um, then Maxine talked to Walter the bartender about a uh, possible lack of business and uh, some other things as well. Frankie g went to their meeting with Maria, I believe her name is. Um, yes. Maria. Maria, count me in. Uh, Frankie, of course, had an emo phase. Um, it's not a phase, Mom. Uh, Maria kind of helped Frankie figure out the different locations based on the notes. Um, told her that, told them it would be 
18 hours? That's right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, then after that, Frankie joined the rest of the party at the bar. For um, just me, it would be 2200 bucks. Correct. Uh, Frankie, while at the bar, was kind of discussing some different things and then had a revelation that maybe they should go to Evan's Antiquities because the girl there seemed like she was a little strange. So she went and talked, they went and talked to her. Um, and Victor followed Frankie because Frankie had mentioned something about the map and Victor was suspicious. So he followed Frankie and um, Frankie never pulled out the map while they were at uh, Evan's Antiquities. They just mentioned the symbols, and um, Victoria ended up telling you what all the symbols meant. Uh, afterwards, Frankie went back to the bar and texted Tom about possible mission expenses being like $2,200 of mission expenses. Um, well, I asked him if he would okay like a $3,000, because I was like, I shouldn't should go by myself. Yeah. I figure if it was like 400 bucks for rations for one person, then yeah. two more people would be like this. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and Tom told them that he would talk to them when they got back to the bar. Not back to the bar, back to the lodge. Um, then Wyatt suddenly mysteriously showed up at the very end of the episode, pretty much and came and joined them at the bar. They ate a meal together, kind of talked about some stuff. Frankie then went to Blackwood's Apothecary where uh, they got some more aloe vera for Charlie and then also got themselves some shrooms that they then took. Um, and then, and then went, to talk to went to talk to Tom, yes. And uh, <laughs> quickly quickly had a discussion about what it might be, uh, the mission that um, they were talking about, and um, Tom basically said, wait for tomorrow, because tomorrow is when all the equipment shows up, and if you can deal with this guy, then you don't have to do this mission. If you can't deal with this guy, then maybe we'll discuss something further. Any questions? No? Okay. Oh. Is that a hand up? Uh, no, I'm just thinking about like how fun mushrooms are gonna be. Depends, I guess, I've heard. Well, I got a very peanut gallery here, so. You got a what, sorry? My peanut gallery over here said very. Oh, okay. I think it depends on each individual experience. All right. Uh, it is now Monday morning. What are you guys doing? I'm guessing come downstairs. Nothing. Like go down and get breakfast. Yeah. I would say that's probably a good start. We didn't have any more weird run-ins with Elias overnight or anything? Not tonight, no. You can just show up. So I think that's... Who was thinking that he was going to show up in the middle of the night? Was Charlie, Charlie? Charlie thought that yeah. he would come and visit you. Me? Yes. Me? No. Oh. oh. Charlie thought that it would, he would come and visit Maxine. I'll try and make this very clear. Okay. Because Maxine was the other one who was there when you were talking about taking his stuff. A note. Yeah. So is Tom down there or no? Yes. Huh. That's how, after how breakfast. Was, how was your uh, sleep? 
Who's talking? Tom? Tom, I guess. Oh, perfect. Just the guy I wanted to see. Do you hear anything about the equipment? Um, my delivery notification says it will be delivered by 8 p.m. today, but they always say that, so we're probably looking <laughs> at sometime in the noonish area. All right. Just want to make sure it's all here so we can get things organized. I will eventually make my way down to here. Make him away downstairs. I was, I was thinking it. I just was like, I need to hold back. But I guess not all of us can so, do that. Where are we thinking that uh, we're going to set this up in then? Well, if we do it Charlie's way, it's going to be in like Charlie's room. We're going to monkey something, I guess. So, whatever. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how how we're going to get him to like. I know we're going to. The plan is to tempt him with his notes and stuff. But are we are we just going to be not around type of thing so that he just walks in? I keep picturing like a mouse coming in and just. I don't know. I have no idea how Charlie thinks it's going to work, but we'll give it a try. And we don't have to, he doesn't have to be there alone to come in. He was there with Charlie last time. True. True. So should we be doing anything to get ready for that, or? Until the quitma comes, might as well just enjoy your breakfast and if you got anybody you want to talk to, go talk. Once it's here, we can set up. We have till it's dark, so. Right, because he's not going to show up during the day. Or he won't be. Yeah, they, uh, you, you've been told that they aren't very active at night. wondering if we if uh well i can talk to frankie when they come downstairs but i wonder if we i think want frankie to said involve... that they were already coming downstairs that was the making my way downstairs i think oh yeah i forgot about the, the jaunty little tune so do we want to involve rachel with this or I don't know if it would help. I mean, she's given us the answer. Her being here is going to lure him in better or drive him away. Yeah, true. I mean, I guess if anyone knew that, it'd probably be her. Yeah, because the thing is, it's like, it's, he's taken, he's taken it away from her, so. But yeah, that might be, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of more ways to get him to, because the sooner that we get him tied up, or dealt with, I should say, I don't know how we're going to contain him, but the sooner that we can, before he transforms totally, the better we don't want more casualties like with rachel so yeah did we bring her food too yeah we brought the two of them food yeah we brought them clothes and you food. brought clothes okay. and supplies okay but that was the so episode is there anybody you were planning on talking to frankie last. today 
Um, not really. I mean, if I got bored, I was probably gonna go people watch, but. I haven't got a call about my drone either. Because it's like we could have put something up. Was, to... He wasn't going to be calling you. He I thought gonna, he was going to get in touch. He was going to drop it off. He wasn't going to call you. Ah, uh, never mind. Well, I know when I, I went in there to talk to him about his brother, he said it wasn't done yet. So. Okay. Well, that's not going to help then anyway. I know why it was on the roof before checking things out, but it's like again, it's not gonna happen till dark. Yeah, you can only see so far from up there. Yeah. Um I mean unless you guys want me to go be nosy and see if I can see other stuff out of the town outside of this. Whole, outside of this whole situation, anyway. Where is uh, Charlie's room that we're planning on turning into a furnace? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not, nobody was really sure where it was going to happen. It, it sounds like a fairly big fire hazard. Oh yeah, that was that was kind of the issue. However, the Wyatt, the thing Wyatt's is, Wyatt's always the, concerned about safety. Yeah, why why it's always the safety conscious one. Um, <laughs> the thing is, diesel heaters aren't necessarily fire hazards, except for like when you're actually getting it really hot. But well, I mean, isn't the point to get it really really hot? It just uh, needs to be. Warm. We're it needs to be to like them. it needs to be like summer temperatures, basically. Right, because all the you're not we're not talking everything like, slowed down in the summertime. We're not talking like oven. We're talking like we're also Texas probably summer. not talking like Texas summer. Yeah, I mean Texas summer, you guys get to like a hundred degrees, right? Texas spring. Oh, uh, Texas spring is a hundred degrees. Well, Texas summer usually stays over a hundred. Yeah, but the thing is, like ovens, spring, ovens bottom out at like go anywhere between like seventy and ninety. I think ovens bottom out at like a hundred and seventy, is it not? Something like that. I don't know. And he's not going to damage the room or anything, is he? I don't want her getting upset that we're... Well, is that is that Charlie's plan, is to throw it in his room? That's, a... that's what I got out of no, it. No, that's, that's not what Wyatt was saying. Wyatt was saying, where's the room that Charlie's going to be using, basically, correct? Or were you actually no, saying I was asking, it I, My understanding room. was he was doing it in his room. Yeah. I wanted to know where his room was in relation to the like building. Situated. Oh, well, situated. In relation to the building, it's in the building. Like what floor, what side of the building? Well, the main what floor main room? floor doesn't have any rooms. It'd be the second floor. Okay, left side of the building, right side of the building, center. Let's go. Uh, let me look at the map here. Let's go north side. That's very loud. I'm just concerned that if something goes wrong, uh, I was worried about a fire hazard and where I was going to be in relation to it. Can I get out of the building if it starts on fire? I guess we'll see how your acting and pressure roll goes. And like I was saying, are we worried about him damaging things? Because it's like, I don't want 
us to like I don't want to have to pay extra the than the um, damage deposit. You paid extra already? No. He, I'm, he says I don't want to pay extra on a damage deposit. Yeah. I'm sure we can find other possible options than just his bedroom. What about even this conference area? Would bigger not be better or no? To heat up the room smaller would be better, but to for us to maneuver bigger would be better. So medium? Do we have a medium sized room? Again, we have to get them to follow us into. Maybe we can see if we can borrow a garage. Is there any other building oh, nearby here wait, or no? No, there's... Aren't there, like, emergency bunkers? Uh, not bunkers, I'd say. It's, like, a big enough for one person. Like little shelters, right? Yeah, it's, like, big enough for one person. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's just to hide from a bear when they come for you. Oh, never mind. It's not like you can sleep in So if you're with multiple people in and a bear comes for you, like the rest of the people are just screwed. Yep. Have to try and run to the next one. Exactly. So is it like nine nine o'clock or nine thirty or so? I would say probably closer to like eight in the morning. Oh, it's really early. Okay. And that's really early. Okay. Did he say eight? Yes. Okay. I just well, even for Frankie to be down this early because they. Oh, they I would not have come down right at eight. No, I would not yeah, have come down. Yeah, that's early. what I'm saying. Okay, then I would have trailed behind. Them. What time do you want when, it to be? When they were making. But they were making their way downstairs. <laughs> Make them away. I feel like the earliest they would get up is like 10 and that's pushing it. Like, couldn't go back to sleep. So it's like, fine, I guess I'll get up. I have to. No, because it's like for myself, I for killing some time, it's like I wouldn't mind going to the ruins. We've talked about it 10 million times, but nobody's ever gone there. We've driven by it. How far is the ruins from here? Uh, right outside town, I thought. I think like two hours. Now I have to pull that up. One sec. Mm. <laughs> Victor had his van, right? You got your van? Yeah. I don't know if that's a van trip. Well, he thought it was a ways to go. He's looking it up. Um, we're an hour north. On foot? Uh, yeah. Or driving. On foot. So we could just drive. It says if you're planning on going to the woods, just remember there's some ruins in the woods, and if you come across them, you're only about an hour north of town. Locals use it as a sort of landmark, so just keep an eye out for it. If you're ever lost, that'll help you find your way back home. Did somebody say something? I think it's my voice coming through, Cody. Yeah, something popped okay. up on my computer. Yeah. Sorry. The only reason oh, I know so that is because it okay. sounds like my voice, but distorted. So is yeah, that a no to being nosy and 
people watching and trying to find out interesting secrets about people in town. I mean, you can still do that. Just you know, somebody needs right. to be back here for noon so we can get this stuff on the road. I can stay to pick up my stuff. Oh, I figured you want to go with somebody being the cameraman, but... Oh, that's true. Would you rather go to the ruins, or would you rather try and get stuff about people on... Ruins? Is that even a question? Okay, well, so... we can leave Charlie to pick up the stuff that's here. Yeah, true. I guess I can tag along to the ruins, and then if I get bored, I'm gonna go. They'll eat, just they'll just eat. head off on their own. Okay, well, let's head out and check this place out. Can I go out off on my own and be in no Well, I mean, it's up to you okay. guys what you want to do. I don't mind either way. But I do need somebody here to pick up stuff. Oh, Charlie Charlie's, Charlie's there. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, so I believe it's Victor, Maxine, and Wyatt going to the ruins. Well, uh, I'll take Frankie, along. Said, I'll Frankie like said they would go, and if they got bored, they would take off. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. Um... Okay. Well, um, yeah, we'll keep Charlie here, and uh, once the stuff comes in, uh, he can contact you guys. Okay, hey, cool. So you guys are going north of town? It's a walk. Not a drive. We have to walk? Yeah. <laughs> Why? It's only an I thought hour. we could drive. I'll board Maxine there. And, Maxine and Frankie, peace out. <laughs> no, we'll go. That's fine. Go for a hike. You'll only be able to board so far and then it turns to gravel. That's fine. <laughs> you just inch oh, along on your board. <laughs> No, we catch up to Frankie go. wiped out on gravel. Frankie is more coordinated than Cat, okay? Frank, Frankie, as soon as, you, as soon as they hit the gravel, just like digging a hole with her one, their one foot. The wheel's not going anywhere. I can still board until I hit gravel. That's still less walking I have to do. So are you seeing anything just, on the way there? I'm just picturing they just tie a rope around you and pull you along on your board. <laughs> uh, no, because I'm not a big Do you see anything on your way there? Yeah. Uh, as, trees. Well, like, are you talking about as you're going through town? Anything interesting? Anything suspicious? Any, anything, yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing suspicious. Or... No, you don't have to roll. Nothing suspicious or anything really going on. The regular, like, um, I don't want to say a hustle and bustle because there ain't, ain't that in this town. Um, anything weird? Anything dribble, weird? dribble and drabble. Is that better instead of hustle and bustle? Um, Drip and drop. Yes. Uh, once you get to like where the park is and stuff, you see actually a lot more kids out than normal, um, which is weird because it's a Monday. But no school today. Maybe not. Don't know. 
Maybe they canceled it because of the murders. Oh, there's a curfew. On, there's a curfew on still, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, but school would be out by then. At night. Yeah, no, I know, I know, but that was what Frankie was just saying. That. I mean, they put a curfew in place. Maybe the principal decided to close. School yeah. Down. So there's a couple of older kids, um, older boys, and they are kind of like next to each other and they're both reading books and kind of like handing things back and forth. Um, and then, yeah, there's a few more little kids kind of running around. Finn is actually in the fence this time. Isn't that why it's best friend? <laughs> why it's BFF. Yeah. But they did start a Leaf Kingdom together. That's right. Right. The best kingdom. People right. who build... Kids who build kingdoms together stay together. Exactly. Um, but yeah, nothing really major going on in town other than you see a few more kids than normal. And then, uh, I take it you guys are just leaving? No, yeah, whatever. Huh? I just... Yes? Leaving? Yes. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Um, so, you guys get to the north side of town, and basically as soon as where the street ends, that's where the road ends as well. So, Frankie got to board for all of, I don't know, 10 minutes. And <laughs> that was it. And she, then they flip the board over, and now they can use it as a ski. A <laughs> ski, yes, that's how it works. Yeah, no, I'm not scratching up my board doing that. Okay. But that's 10 minutes less that I would have had to hoof it. There you go. True. So. Always thinking. Okay. So. You head on into the forest. Um, trees surrounding you in every direction. And. Um, you are. Greeted by the sound of birds chirping in the woods. Um, you kind of uh, will often kind of see wildlife scampering around in the trees as you walk through. Um, is there anything you want to discuss on your way up or is it just go straight there? If only it was like this all the time instead of scary and, and horror, like a horror show. Hey, speaking of horror show, you think that cult will be hanging out at the ruins? Ooh. <laughs> we don't know. We didn't notice any, yeah. The only, when did we drive, like when were we by the ruins ever? On our way to... Oh, and we really never noticed anything, did we? We no. just kind of said that we are going to try and come and see this place. And then just never did. That's weird. Doesn't What's-His-Face say there's a cult out here? Yes, What's-His-Face. The driver? Yeah, yeah What's-His-Face. What's-His-Face. Face is what? Robert. Is that his name? Bob. It, it's Robert Turner, Bob. but Bob is Some, what his friends call generic. him. Something generic. I don't know if you guys count as his friends. I mean, I only talked to him once. Well, he's very chatty. Actually, he was there's a lot of info he was giving out, but 
I don't know how much he talked about the cult. Um, he only talked about them very briefly. Kind of said they were not, um, not a, really a threat. Yeah. I mean, if anybody wants to roll a sharp, I'll give you exactly what he said, but up to you. I have it in my notes. I'm just playing dumb because I feel like that is okay. more accurate for my character. Your your character plays dumb. I mean, my character's not gonna remember like every small detail that someone tells them. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, okay, so as they remember, there's a cult. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, but more specifically, it's a cult of Dionysus. <laughs> so. How do y'all feel about the idea of setting up the heat box in Charlie's room? I know it's kind of dumb, but... Well, I voiced my opinion already. I said that I didn't think it was a good idea, but... I don't really have another better alternative. I seem to think it's going to be a fire hazard. Yeah. 75% of everything anyone does is a fire hazard. Also, if we were going to do it in somebody's room, we didn't really need diesel heaters to do it, I don't think. Yeah, we could have just turned up the heat in one room. I was assuming it would be a bigger place. I mean, that was yeah, the well, original... The diesel heaters were to... That was the original plan. Yeah. The diesel heaters were to heat up the cave. Oh, right. But that's when Rachel was the monster. Yeah. We don't really know where his uh, base is. Did she talk about that once? Like, as to why she... Did she... Or she talk about that at all? As to why she chose the cave? Like, to always go back to? Uh, she never said why. Just... Yeah. I'd imagine he'd probably find, try and find something close to his cabin. Yeah, since the cabin's gone, or useless. Yeah, probably something out that way. So... Am I drawing a blank here? It's like, I don't have my notes with me. It's, did she, did she say, like, what she, what she was doing, like, in the meantime, like, downtime, not nighttime? No idea. That might be something that we want to ask about, because it's like, the nighttime is what they draw on the darkness. So it's like, are they, yeah, like, are they weaker during the day? Are they in what well, you said they are weaker during the day no i know but it's like where where do they go maybe they to? evaporate because this could be that other realm or whatever that they keep talking about that that doctor was talking about maybe okay so, as you guys are wandering along, you come across <clears throat> a large building that kind of just doesn't really have a purpose to be there. Like, you can't really see anything special about it. I don't know if you've seen it. I can send you the picture. Give me a sec. Um, but... Yep, we saw it. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this picture. I don't remember sending it, but that's fine. Maybe we could set them up in here. Uh, so, deep within the heart of the valley, it's obscured with ancient trees and veiled in perpetual shadows. The ruins kind of are like... Um, 
a reminder of a forgotten time. Like these, these don't look modern by any means. Uh, the exterior, um, what? We're just agreeing. Um, the exterior um, is kind of a mosaic of a bunch of crumbling stone walls and then just ivy clinging to it. Um, it kind of gives you that vibe of nature trying to reclaim something. And then there's jagged archways that lead into it as well. Um, you kind of see some different carvings and stuff, um, leaving only an eerie feeling. Uh, but yeah. 